So in today's lesson, we'll talk about fractional distillation of petroleum. So essentially what that means is how do we get the petrol and things that we use in our everyday lives from crude oil, okay? So here is a very typical site on the Texas Plains. So if Texas is a very rich oil, uh, rich oil state of the US, and you'll see a lot of these uh, little um, pumps or oil pumps all scattered through the Texas Plains. So the question is then, how do we take that crude oil, which we're pumping out of the ground, and turn it into something like petrol, plastic, um, diesel, and any of those kind of things that we study all the time. So petroleum or crude oil, so petroleum is another word for crude oil, so we'll call it petroleum as well, um, is the major source of petrol or gasoline if you're in the Americas, uh, kerosene and diesel. So all of these three are fuels, so we have you know, standard car fuel, truck fuel, and also aeroplane fuel. Um, also, you may have heard natural gas. We use that to heat our homes and heat our water. Uh, it can sometimes lay, uh, be a layer above the oil, so it just sits uh, on top of the oil. So if this is our oil well here, and here's our oil, then the natural gas may just sit in the space up the top here. And it can be used, like I said, for fuel as well as heating and cooling. Uh, heating and um, as well as other petrochemical uh, uses. So the composition of petroleum uh, and gas also vary from place to place. So remembering that petroleum is a natural byproduct. So there will always be variation depending on where you are because there's different animals, different creatures, different plants. So the, vari the composition of this petroleum won't be the same everywhere. So crude oil in itself is like a soup of chemicals. It has, it's just a bunch of different chemicals mixed together to form that black ooze that we pump out of the ground. And it has too many components to separate into pure compounds. So because there's so many different compounds, we can't separate just singular compounds. So what we have is sort of mixtures of compounds. So we separate them into fractions, and that's based on boiling point, but those fractions won't be pure. They'll have, there'll be a bunch of different chemicals in there as well, but fewer than the, than the starting crude oil or petroleum. So each fraction has a mixture of hydrocarbons, as I mentioned, and the separation is done in a fractioning column. So here we have an industrial fractioning column, and as you can see, it's a very um, modern and sort of impressive piece of machinery. And all it does is it separates them based on boiling point. Okay.